As soon as you get your Echo Show 5 out of the box, out of the wrapper, and plugged in, you're going to want to set it up. Let's go. Hello Automators, thanks for tuning in again. You can see my Amazon Echo Show 5 is plugged in and it is booting up. Now what's amazing about this setup process is almost all of it is on the device until you want to get into music and video and things later in the process. Now the first thing you're going Hello. to do is select Ready your language set. and then you're going to be given the opportunity to select your Wi-Fi network. So you're going to need your credentials for that but an Echo Show 5 will connect to either 2.4 or 5 gigahertz networks. Now once it's done that you'll need to put in your credentials for an Amazon account and this is really the biggest thing you need for the whole setup process because after that it knows who you are and it knows a lot of information about you that you've already put into Amazon system. If you have groups already set up, then they will show up here and you can add your device to a group and rename it. Now, if you don't have that, that's something for later for you to kind of change settings on in Amazon's voice assistant application on your phone. But for now, just put it in there and you will get to a point where it's asking you to download Updating and install a new update or a new firmware update. It'll go through a couple of reboots and then it will come back up and your device will be set up and ready to go. Now you get a nice little introduction video here from Amazon. They teach you a number of things about the device, but I'm about to show you all of those things and a little bit more. Hi, we're glad you're here. It's time to get you and your Echo Show 5 off and running. This device is ready. So finally you're done and up on the top is actually a camera shutter closure switch. So you can actually pull that closed and it will stop the camera from being able to see entirely. That's a physical thing. There's also a mute microphone and you can see how it turns off the camera as well. Now there's volume control buttons on the top that you will have seen when you unbox this thing and there is an aux port in the back. You can use Bluetooth as well to go out to other speakers if you don't like this speaker but it is very good. Now you're seeing me play with brightness and the do not disturb modes that are also on the menu as you swipe down but here's the overall settings page. There's a lot more here that you're going to want to go through and I'm going to show you a couple of things first off. Bluetooth is very simple. You can tap on there and now you will find that device in your phone or your tablet or whatever other Bluetooth device. Simply tap on it and it will pair the two devices. Now I can play music from my phone. You saw me connect my iPhone and it is now playing on that. Now to disconnect you can actually use your voice or you can use on screen there. You could change your Wi-Fi network if you wanted to switch between different ones for any reason or you take this on the road. The home and clock section allows you to customize what the whole device looks like on the screen here. Now there's different backgrounds that you can choose. You can also choose to show the date or the weather but the background section is really interesting because you can use apps or you can use Amazon photos and when you tap on those Amazon photos those are photos you've put into Amazon photos themselves and there's the ability to take a photo and actually have that go into your Amazon photos you can see me doing that right here that now shows up as part of my rotation now in the display you saw me playing with the brightness before but it has an adaptive brightness setting on it and when when you turn that off you can now see that I'm able to adjust the brightness on the device. Sounds allows you to change everything from alarms to the simple sounds that are on the device but here's one of the most powerful things that you'll find on the Echo Show now. If you swipe from the right to the left you will see a new menu and the first thing in there is the ability to communicate with people. The second thing is the ability to control your smart home. Now keep in mind I have all of these things already set up in Amazon's voice assistant account but you can see how I can manage by device by type of device by groups that I've set up in the application there's a ton of options here 
I can also tap on the different cameras that I have in my home that are already connected. You're seeing music now on screen, which is another choice in that menu. And you can go ahead and play your favorites from there very quickly. There's, of course, the Prime Videos offering here as well and you have to be a subscriber an amazon prime subscriber to get that working but that is there as well now routines is really your ultimate in smart home control and if you already have a number set up they will show up here if you don't you're going to want to start creating some of those in amazon's voice assistant application which we do have videos about here they also have some featured ones that they will show you here on the device the alarm section you could set alarms by voice if you'd like but you can also add an alarm physically there now of course you can ask for news weather you can play audio books that you have on amazon's device there is a ton of things to do with the web browsers on board both silk and firefox, firefox are on board including watching youtube and i use it for something called action tiles now otherwise guys you're going to need the rest of the setup tutorials here with your Amazon Echo Show 5. So on screen is a playlist for you to go and learn all of the other details here for setting up this great device.